In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can promote JVZoo products on a website. We're going to be using an AI website builder, particularly Pineapple AI, okay? Now, this is a continuation of the previous video I showed you, how you can promote JVZoo product without a website. But if you want to take a step further, if you want to be really serious with affiliate marketing, this is a video for you because I'm going to show you how to create a website for affiliate products on JVZoo. So I'm going to link Pineapple Builder. This is Pineapple. So what you're going to do, you're going to just log in, create your account. Once you've created your account, you're then going to hit new website. And from here, you can select any template that you want. They have a couple of templates that you can use for your website. I'm just going to go with this one here. So I just click on AI Customize. And then now you're going to select GPT 3.5, okay? Now, if you have GPT 4, you can actually leave it at GPT 4, but otherwise just select 3.5. And then down here, you're going to enter now the business details of your website. Now, remember this was um, was what we were promoting before. It was an AI agent. It was a digital product that comes with multiple AI features where you can create websites, videos, voiceovers, art images, social posts, ad copies, so all in one. Okay, these are multiple features that you can use for your business. And this was pretty much the sales page where we want to direct our audience. If you scroll down over here, you can actually see there is the checkout page where they can actually buy the product down here somewhere, as you can see. So they're going to click on buy now. If they buy the product, we get our commission. Okay, about $33 because it's 50% commission. Okay, so this is what we are promoting. So we can come back over here and we're going to say an AI tool that can be used to create websites videos voiceovers art images social posts ad copies email blogs actually it's emails content and blogs and then i'll just continue and say and so much more and then i'm going to add and say an ai assistant for your business all right so i think this is enough information uh, we've given about what 31 characters out of 80 so we can still write more but i'm just going to leave it like this i think this is enough and then down here we have our target audience i'll just say uh we have business owner because this product here targets mainly business owners uh content creators marketers okay so those are the kind of people uh, so business owners content creators marketers so this is the kind of people that we're mainly targeting we can also add other other people but these are the ones that come into mind and then once you're done just click on start generation all right so now we have our pick design section this is where we can design the outlook of our website okay so we have the palette styles here's where you can just select your palette styles they have different colors here okay? as you can see if you select pale it changes it to this if you select vivid it changes it to this okay you have dark it changes it to this and then here you have your, your website background color okay you have the orange and dark you have green dark you have minimal dark okay so once you select this you can just scroll through your website see how it's going to look like you have bold dark all right it changes some fonts and some sections okay i'm just going to leave it at orange dark and then here you have your textiles and button styles and once you're done, you can just come back up over here and click on save. All right. So just skip this. And this is how your website looks like. Congratulations. You now have a website that's automatically been created by AI. Okay. Now you can just leave it like this. You're going to have to edit some sections, delete some sections. So starting from the first section here, it says AI power tools to boost your business effortlessly. So that's good. Here we have streamlined your creative process and elevate your digital marketing with our versatile AI assistant. And then we have the call to action button here. I'm going to show you how to edit that. Here we have uh, effortlessly create, innovate and impress with AI. Unlock the power of AI to streamline your creative process. Okay. Now remember all of this is customizable, completely customizable. You can change some text if you feel it's not really going with the product. Okay, you can also change the images. So here it says empower your business with AI creativity, streamline your content creation process. Now, some of them I can see they're repetitive, like this streamline, streamline. Okay, 
some of them are repetitive so here is where you can actually change you can even just use ai to uh, change this text over here or just change it yourself so we just highlight it for example you can highlight that and then click on ai over here so here you can improve writing you can uh, rephrase you can fix spelling and grammar you can make it shorter longer or continue writing okay now i want to change it a little bit i can click on rephrase all right and then i'll select gpt 3.5 and then you have the prompt type which is a rephrase it's going to ask you uh, do you want me to refresh it streamline your content creation process and unlock limitless possibilities with our ai assistant click on yes and then here's the paraphrased text it now says simplify your content creation process and unleash endless possibilities with our ai assistant okay but even to change it again if you still feel it's the same text you can still click on this and you can select other text again from here but for me i'm just going to go ahead and select this just click on this over here click on continue writing and then now it says introducing our ai assistant that revolutionizes your content creation process with its advanced capability you can now streamline and optimize your workflow for maximum efficiency so this is much better i can now copy this and then just paste it right there okay now i'm going to delete the rest of this okay as you can see very very easy and then if you want to change your images you can just select it like this click on edit over here now you can go ahead and close this section once you're done all right now to change your image you can just get a different one from google or you can just download from pexel here you can click on add image then you can go to free images they also have free images that you can use here i can just search maybe ai so they have tons of ai images over here i can go with this one here all right and it's just as easy as that here you can go on and edit more and more and more of your sections now this section here for benefits you can pretty much add the features of the product okay the benefits uh that they're going to get from the product so we have the first feature describe the feature explain the, be the benefits for your audience here we can just come back over here and we already have the benefits over here create uh, art images social posts they have more over here so you can create websites sales pages e-com stores and content blogs in three clicks okay so i can use this one here as the first one as the first feature come back over here and then click on paste okay now i'm going to change the color to white like white right there and there we go and then now for the second feature you can just do this okay so you can do this for all of the features you don't have to actually copy all the features but i'll just copy just a few of them and i'm going to change the color again to something visible all right so i'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the features here you have another section for our testimonials okay so the people who have actually used the product you can just change this to say testimonials or what i like to say is something like here what our customers have to say all right and then here you can change the testimonials these are default text that don't make sense so you want to make sure you actually add some testimonials some products have testimonials this one i believe also has testimonials so you can scroll down uh they usually somewhere at the bottom here all right so there we go we have testimonials here so you can copy all of this uh okay these are actually images they're not really uh, copyable so what you can do you can just copy these testimonials okay another way that you can do this is that you can also just use this similar image okay you can just use it exactly as the way it is so what i'd like to do i'm going to first uh, zoom out just to make it smaller okay and then i'm just going to use this snapping tool okay just like that and i'm going to save it okay and then now i'm going to come back over here and then what i would do i would just delete these testimonials okay just like this okay we're deleting these sections individually and then now what we're going to do we're going to select a section here you can select from either side you're just going to click on this plus over here and then select image and then now select this section here okay make sure it's selected and then now click on add image okay go to uploads select here and then select your image okay and there we go so we have our testimonials there you can make it bigger so that it's more visible okay you can just stretch it like this all right so there we go so very very easy we're done with our testimonial sections here you have another section 
So yes, pretty much a call to action. Okay, so as you can see, it says catchy call to action. And it says remind your audience the best thing about this product and encourage them to engage with your website. So here we can actually ask them to either sign up. Okay, here's basically where they can actually enter their emails. If they want to get a daily or a weekly newsletter from me about the product or how to use the product, this is usually very important. Or if you just want to actually add a call to action, like maybe tell them another feature about the product without actually having them to enter their name or email. Okay. So again, you can just come back and refer to this website over here to this product. You can see maybe if there's anything else that maybe that can stand out that you can actually add from there. You can go ahead and add it. Now this product has so much features. As you can see, it has AI content writer, AI stock library, it has AI email writer, logo and banners. Another thing that was impressed by this is that it has an AI background remover. So these are the features that are probably not listed at the top that you can also add them over there. Okay. So you can come back over here and then just maybe delete this or just, you know, change this text and say something like more powerful features. Okay. And then just change this text. And these are the features that you'll enter. You can say background remover. Okay. Come back again over here. We can say it has a image cleaner, image colorizer. Okay. And you can add the rest of the features there. And then now we're going to add a call to action button. So here we're going to remove the sign up. Okay. Just like that. And then click on delete. And then now we will have this. So this one here, we're going to change the text. Okay. Just select the button like that. And then you can change this and say, get AI assistant now or AI agent. That's actually the name of the product. Get AI uh, agent. All right. And then here you're going to see this globe. You're going to select this globe. And here is where we're going to paste our affiliate link. All right. Now you'll come back to JVZoo. Make sure you go to your approved products. Okay. Because you're going to actually get your product after you've requested for it. Okay. In my previous video, I showed you how to request for a link to promote the product. Refer to that video uh, request for the product. And then you click on approved products. And here is where you'll find the links to your products. So you'll just select a link over there. Okay. For example, you select that, you'll copy that, copy that link, close that, and then come back over here. And then you paste your affiliate link right there. Okay. Open in a new window because you don't want them to close your page. And here there are other features that you can add for your website, uh, for your button rather. Uh, you have the design of the button. You can do things like padding, okay, padding it from the top. Okay. So this is just going to add space between the button and the text. Here you have padding on the right. Okay, this is going to add spaces from the right. You have padding at the bottom. Okay, this is just basically going to add space at the bottom. And then you also have padding at the left. All right. Now you're going to do the same for other call to action buttons up here. We have another button up here. This one here. They try now. Okay, so you're just pretty much doing the same thing. Select the button. Okay, come here back to props. And they're going to now say try AI agent now. Okay, or just put the cursor in between and say try AI agent just like that and then you're going to select this group again here you're going to paste your affiliate link okay so i think we still have it on the clipboard yeah there we go and then now if you want to get rid of this letter logo or icon you can scroll down over here okay you have it here at the end icon you can just select this and remove it just like that or if you want to add something else you can click on this drop down they have other buttons or other icons that you can add okay I'm just going to leave it like that without adding anything else. And there we go. So we're done with our website pretty much. Now this is just a single paged website. You can add other pages if you want by just selecting website pages. You can select this over here. You can see the default pages here. You have the about page. You have the pricing page, the home page, which is this one here. You have features as well. These are different pages that you can edit. So if you want to add more pages, just click on add more over here. Now I'm just going to edit the header over here. Okay, we have this header over here. So I want to remove this uh, logo I can click on edit header. Here you have your website header title. I'm just going to call it the name of the product, which is AI, AI agent. And then we have the icon as well. You can remove the icon just like that. And you can place your own icon. You can get an icon again from uh, Google or from Pexels. I'm just going to go to Google and see uh, and look for a simple icon. I will go to tools. I will go to type and I'll look for clip art because I just want a simple AI um, 
image let me just go with this one here and then i'm just going to save this image just like that come back over here and then click on press image over here go to upload okay we're going to drag our image just like that and there you go you have your image right there and once you're done with the website now you can just save draft and then now click on publish and click on publish live page now if you want to view your link or your website just click again on publish and then click on your link now this is the default domain okay you can have a look at it just click on it like this and this is how your website now looks like so a very professional looking website and this is how you can easily create a website for a jvzoo product a jvzoo digital product we have our call to action buttons here if they click on this it will redirect them to the sales page okay now as you can see this is the link to your website now it doesn't really look like a good link this is a link that you don't want to use because it's not going to be favored by google or any other search engine because it's long and it's not really clear so you want to actually get a custom domain i highly recommend you get a custom domain so you can actually have a domain that you can actually remember a domain that other people can remember your customers can remember and also a domain that google is going to like okay the algorithm is going to like which will easily rank on google so please do get a custom domain domains are very cheap you can get a domain for like what ten dollars a year you can get domains from hosting providers some of the best hosting providers are like bluehost you can get a domain from bluehost you can get a domain from hostgator you can get a domain from SiteGround, even Google can provide you with a domain. Okay, so just make sure you buy a domain. Once you have bought your domain, you can now come back over here and click on Add Custom Domain. You're then going to go to See Plans, and you're just going to choose any plan from here. Okay, as you can see, they have three plans. This is the free one, which gives you that free domain. But what you want is the basic plan. Okay, you can go for the basic plan, which is twelve dollars a month. But this is the yearly deal. You can just select monthly if you just want to pay per month. So the uh, per monthly is now $15, $15 a month. And this one gives you unlimited pages and custom domain, okay? You can then click on select and purchase the basic plan, which will now give you the ability to get a custom domain. You can then just come back over here and enter your custom domain. So say, for example, uh, AI agent or AI agents com, okay? So you want something as short as this as simple as this and then you're going to click on add domain once you've bought your your plan your basic plan this button will be active okay you'll then be able to click on it and then you'll get your custom domain All right guys so i highly highly recommend that you get a custom domain this is going to help you a ton it's very affordable especially if you're doing it for business and it's worth every penny so that's going to do it for this video i hope this was valuable if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Check out this video where I show you how you can promote multiple affiliate products using Pineapple AI Website Builder. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial where I show you how to actually purchase a pineapple plan, the basic plan, where you'll be able to get a custom domain. So be sure to check this video out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.